Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review ulit tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics which is Calculator Techniques Part 17. So, dito sa Calculator Techniques Part 17, ang particular topic sa math na i-discuss ko is about Laplace Transform. Okay, so gamit tayo ng Calculator Techniques sa paghanap ng Laplace Transform ng different functions. So, mahalaga din yung Caltech dito sa Laplace Transform kasi mababawasan nyo yung kakabisaduhin yung formula, yung different formulas for Laplace Transform, as well as, mas madali nyo masasolve yung ganitong problems kasi ikakalcute technique nyo nalang. Particularly kapag yung pinahanap sa inyo is function of f of t na multiplied by t raised to nth power, right? Kasi gagamit kayo ng derivatives doon, di ba? So, it is wiser kung marunong kayo gumamit ng calcute techniques para dito sa Laplace transform. Pero bago tayo mag-solve ng examples ay isa-shoutout ko lang yung isa sa aking subscribers na si Joren Garcia. So, hi Joren, shoutout sa'yo. Maraming salamat sa support at panunood sa aking mga videos. And God bless sa yung studies. Okay? So, start na tayo. Let's start with question number 1. Find the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to e raised to negative 2t. So, actually, madali lang to kung kabisado natin yung Laplace transform ng e raised to 80. Okay, pero sige, gagamitin natin siya ng calcio techniques. So, ang gagamitin natin calcio techniques is yung concept or formula kung paano hanapin yung Laplace transform ng isang function. So, di ba meron tayong formula na Laplace transform ng f of t or capital F of s is equal sa integral ng e raised to negative st f of t dt from 0 to infinity. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito is ikakalculate natin yung Laplace transform using this integral. So, papalit natin dito sa f of t yung mismong given nating f of t. And for this problem, it is equal to e raised to negative 2t, right? So, therefore, gagawin natin is integral ng e raised to negative st times e raised to negative 2t dt from 0 to yung infinity kahit anong value na mataas. Let's say, 20 na lang. Okay? So, ito yung input natin sa calcu. But, take note na dapat yung ating s mas mataas doon sa numerical coefficient ng t ng exponent natin ng e doon sa ating given f of t. Okay? So, so since we have 2 here, pwede natin gamitin is yung mas mataas. Let's say 6. So, let's say s is equal to 6. Okay? And then, Pag na-evaluate natin ngayon itong value na to using yung integral function natin sa calcu, meron kayong masasolve na constant value, right? Then, store nyo yon let's say, sa memory C. Tapos, dito sa mga choices, evaluate nyo rin at s is equal to 6. Sa isa-isa. Tapos, try nyo i-divide doon sa so, in-store nyo yung value sa C, yung integral nga na to, at kung ano yung mag-equal sa 1, then that's the answer. Okay. So, ganun lang. So, disclaimer lang na kapag, kapag gumagamit tayo ng Caltech for Laplace Transform, it is safe kung naka-radian mode lagi tayo. Okay? So, sige, try natin pakita sa calc -U. Okay, so input natin yung integral. So, integral of alpha e raised to negative st. So, yung s natin is 6. So, we have negative 6 alpha x. Okay? Then times doon sa ating given f of t na e raised to negative 2t. So, times alpha e raised to negative 2 alpha x. Okay? And then, yung limit natin is from 0 to 20. So, press equal. So, medyo matagal talaga siya kapag gumagamit tayo ng Calcutech for Laplace Transform using yung integral definition nito. Okay, so nasolve niya is 1.8. So, shift, store, C. 
And then, evaluate natin yung bawat choices doon sa problem at same value ng S na 6. So, doon muna tayo sa A. 1 over S plus 2, right? So, so input natin, 1 over alpha X plus 2, then calc yung X natin na 6. Okay, so 1, 8. So, therefore, ito na yung sagot kasi nakita natin kanina na 1, 8 yung ating integral, right? So, sige, try natin i-divide sa alpha C. We have 1. Okay, so therefore, the answer is letter A. So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have, find the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to t raised to the fifth power. Okay, sa so ganun pa rin, gagamitin natin yung integral ng e raised to negative st times f of t, this time, is t to the fifth dt from 0 to 20. So, yung s, mamimili tayo. So, let's say 6 na lang ulit. So, papalitan natin tong S ng 6. So, i raise sa negative 60. Okay. So, ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo kanina nung nag-integrate tayo sa calculator, napaka tagal mag-solve ng calc -Q. So, para mabawasan yung sobrang tagal ng time na yon, pwede natin gamitin yung line format ngayon nung calc -Q. So, punta lang kayo sa shift mode 2 sa so, magiging line format na yung calc -Q nyo. So, ganun pa rin, i-input nyo lang din doon yung integral. So, integral, and then, input nyo yung e raised to negative 6x, tapos, times t raised to 5, 5, and then, this time, wala yung dt. Ang ilalagay nyo is comma, then, starting from 0, comma, then, yung upper limit nyo na 20, then, comma, let's say, 0 0.1. Okay? Yung 0 0.1, yun yung nagko-correspond sa changes in step ng ating calcu. So, so, kung mas malit yung ilalagay natin dito, is more, is more accurate. Yun nga lang, mas matagal is solve ng calcu. So, okay na itong 0 0.1. So, kapag ito yung ginamit natin, somehow, mas mabilis pag-solve ngayon yung calcu. Okay? So, pag nakuha nyo yung sagot, using this integral, store nyo ulit sa C. Then, balik na kayo doon sa math format ng calc -Q para ma-isa-isa nyo uli itong choices. So, evaluate nyo lahat itong choices at same value ng S is equal to 6. And then, try nyo i-divide sa C kung ano yung mag one doon sa choices. Kung sino yung nag one then that's the answer. Okay? So, sige, try natin sa calc -Q. Okay, so punta tayo sa shift mode 2 for the line format ng calc -Q. So, Input natin yung integral. So, integral of, so mapapansin nyo, medyo weird na yung ating integral, right? Alpha E raised to negative, yung S natin is 6, right? So, negative 6 alpha X, then times alpha X raised to the fifth power, kasi T to the fifth yung ating function. And then, input nyo is shift comma, then 0 for the lower limit ng integral. Shift comma, 20 for the upper limit ng integral and then shift comma for the step na 0 0.1. So, yun yung sinet natin, right? Then, press equal. Okay, so, store natin yung nasolve yung value sa C. Shift store C. Okay, and then, balik na tayo sa math format. So, shift mode 1, then 1. So, nasa math format na ulit tayo. So, evaluate natin yung choices. So, doon muna tayo sa A. 120 over S to the 6. So, alpha raised to the 6. And then, calc at same value ng S na 6 10. So, 6. Okay. So, try natin i-divide sa alpha C kung mag-1 ba. Okay, so approximately 1. So therefore, this is the answer, letter A. Okay? So therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have, find the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 5 cosine 2t. Okay, so this time, meron tayong trigonometric function. So ganun pa rin, integral ng e raised to negative st 
times yung f of t natin na 5 cosine 2t dt from 0 to 20 uli. Tapos, let's say s natin uli is 6. So, papalitan natin tong s ng negative 60. Okay, so, gamit uli tayo ng line format ng calculus. So, shift mode to uli. Tapos, input nyo ngayon tong integral. So, di ba meron kayo ng integral ng e raised to negative 60 times 5 cosine 2t. So, dapat nakarad mode kayo dito kasi meron kayong trigo function. Then, after nitong cos t, walang dt yon Comma, 0 uli for the lower limit and then 20 for the upper limit and 0 0.1 for the step. Close parenthesis. Okay, so may makukombin kayong value dyan. Store nyo sa C. Tapos, evaluate nyo yung lahat ng choices uli na to at same as na 6. So, divide nyo ngayon yung na-evaluate nyo sa C. Kung ano yung mag-1, then that's the answer. Okay, so sige, try natin sa calc -U. Okay, so punta tayo sa shift mode 2 for the line format ng calc -U. And then, input natin yung integral. So, this time, integral of alpha e raised to negative 6 alpha x times 5 cosine 2 alpha x then shift comma 0 shift comma 20 shift comma 0 0.1 then close parenthesis equals Okay, so, yung nasolve natin value, store natin sa C. So, shift, store, C. And then, balik na tayo sa shift, mode, 1, 1, format, format. Para may evaluate na natin yung bawat choices at same as na 6. So, dumo na tayo sa A. Yung A is 10 over S squared plus 4. So, input natin. 10 over alpha X squared plus 4. Then, evaluate natin at X na 6. Okay, so, try natin i-divide sa alpha C kung magwa 1. Okay, so malayo. So therefore, punta tayo sa B. Yung B is 5S over S squared plus 4. So input natin, 5 alpha X over alpha X squared plus 4. Then, calc at same S or X na 6 pa rin. And then, try natin i-divide sa alpha C kung magwa 1. Okay, so approximately 1. So therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? So therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, find the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to 2 sinh 5t. So, hyperbolic sign yung function natin. So, ganun pa rin. Line format pa rin ng calc -U. So, input nyo is integral ng e raised to negative st. So, let's say 6 uli yung s. So, negative 60 tayo times quantity 2 sinh 5t and then comma 0 for the lower limit comma 20 for the upper limit and 0 0.1 for the step. Okay? So, yung masasolve nyo ngayon dito is turn nyo sa C and then evaluate nyo each choices sa same value nung S na 6 then try nyo i-divide sa C then kung anong mag-equal sa 1 dun sa mga choices ay yun yung answer. Okay, so sige, try natin. So, punta tayo sa shift mode 2 Para sa line format ng calc -U, input natin yung integral. So, integral ng alpha e raised to negative 6 alpha x times 2 sinh 5t. So, pindutin nyo itong hype, piliin nyo yung sinh na 1, and then input nyo yung 5 alpha x for 5t. Okay, and then shift comma 0, shift comma 20, shift comma 0 0.1, Close parenthesis equals. Okay. So, store natin yung nasub na value sa C. So, shift store C. And then, balik tayo sa shift mode 1, 1. Mat format. Evaluate natin yung bawat choices sa same value ng S na 6. So, naman tayo sa A. 10 over S squared minus 25. So, 10 over alpha x squared minus 25. Calc at same x na 6 equals, so divide natin sa alpha c kung 
mag approximately equal sa 1. Okay, so approximately equal sa 1, so therefore the answer is letter A. Okay? So therefore the answer is letter A. Okay? Next we have find the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to t squared e raised to 2t cosine 2t. Okay, so this time ito yung mga example ng function natin na mahalagang i-calculate na lang natin. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, meron kang t squared, tapos i raise to 2t, tsaka cosine 2t. So, komplikado. So, mas madali kapag kinalkitek. Sa so, ganun pa rin, punta tayo sa line format ng calcul, then evaluate natin yung integral ng, this time, i raise to negative st. So, 6 pa rin, kasi yung exponent naman natin dito ng e, which is 2, is mas mababa pa rin doon sa 6. So, okay. naging tatandaan nyo na yung choice nyo nung s Dapat mas mataas. Okay, so therefore we have e raised to negative 6t times itong function na to. So, t squared e raised to 2t cosine 2t. And then, comma, 0 for the lower limit, comma, 20 for the upper limit, and 0 0.1 for the step. Okay, so kung ano masasolve nyo dito, starting nyo sa c, and then, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa mga choices, komplikado na yung ating mga choices kasi complicated na nga rin itong ating f of t. So, ganun pa rin, evaluate nyo itong choice sa same value ng s na 6. And then, kung anong mag-equal sa 1 kapag dinevad nyo sa c, then that's the answer. Okay, so sige, try natin sa calq. Okay, so punta ulit tayo sa shift mode 2 for the line format ng calq. Then, input natin yung integral. Integral ng alpha e raised to negative 6 alpha x and then yung function natin so alpha x raised to the second power then times alpha e raised to 2 alpha x then yung cosine to alpha x and then shift comma for the lower limit na 0 shift comma for the upper limit na 20 shift comma for the step na 0 0.1 close parenthesis equals so medyo matagal pa rin siya no okay so store natin yung nasolve yung value sa c so shift store c Tapos, balik tayo sa math format. So, shift mode, 1, 1. Evaluate natin yung bawat choices sa same value ng S na 6. Alam mo na tayo sa A. Yung A is 2S cubed minus 12S squared plus 32 over quantity S squared minus 4S plus 8 cubed. So, sige, input natin. 2 alpha X raised to the third minus 12 alpha X squared plus 32 over quantity alpha x squared minus 4 alpha x plus 8 then raised to the third power okay so kalat natin sa x na 6 pa rin okay so try natin i-divide sa alpha c kung mag approximately equal to 1 ba so divide alpha c okay so approximately 1 kasi 0 0.9999 so therefore letter a is the answer okay so, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Calculator Techniques Part 17. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next upload ko for Engineering Board Exam Review Mathematics Calculator Techniques Part 18. Okay, so sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.